Conor McGregor was born on July 14, 1988, in Dublin, Ireland. He grew up in a working-class family in the suburb of Crumlin and attended Gael Calaist Calaist de Hyde, an Irish-speaking school, until the age of 16. McGregor developed an interest in boxing at a young age and began training in the sport as a teenager. After leaving school, McGregor worked various jobs to support himself, including as a plumber and a nightclub bouncer. However, he continued to train in combat sports, eventually transitioning to mixed martial arts, MMA. In 2008, McGregor made his professional MMA debut and quickly began making a name for himself on the Irish circuit. He won his first two fights by knockout and continued to build his record over the next few years. Despite facing setbacks early in his career, including a submission loss in his third fight, McGregor remained determined to make it to the top of the sport. He continued to train tirelessly and hone his skills, eventually catching the attention of UFC President Dana White. In 2013, McGregor made his UFC debut, knocking out Marcus Brimage in the first round. From there, he quickly ascended the ranks of the featherweight division, earning a reputation for his striking ability, charisma, and unapologetic trash talk. After Conor McGregor's impressive UFC debut victory over Marcus Brimage in 2013, he quickly began making waves in the featherweight division. He went on to win his next four fights, including a first-round knockout of Diego Brandeo in front of his hometown fans in Dublin, Ireland. McGregor's brash personality and trash-talking skills were also gaining attention, and he became known for his ability to hype up fights and get under his opponent's skin. His next opponent was Dustin Poirier, who he faced in a highly anticipated bout in September 2014. McGregor won the fight via TKO in the first round, solidifying his status as a rising star in the UFC. He continued to call out top fighters in the featherweight division, including Jose Aldo, the reigning champion at the time. In July 2015, McGregor finally got his shot at the featherweight title, facing off against Aldo at UFC 189. McGregor predicted that he would knock out Aldo in the first round, and he did just that, landing a devastating left hook just 13 seconds into the fight. With the victory, McGregor became the undisputed featherweight champion and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. He went on to defend his title against Chad Mendes and then moved up to the lightweight division, where he won the title in a rematch with Nate Diaz. However, McGregor's success was not without its controversies. He was involved in several high-profile incidents outside the octagon, including a 2018 bus attack that resulted in criminal charges. He also suffered several losses and setbacks in the cage, raising questions about his commitment to the sport. One of the most highly anticipated fights in UFC history was the matchup between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov, which took place in October 2018. McGregor had just returned to the UFC after a two-year absence, while Nurmagomedov was the undefeated lightweight champion. In the lead-up to the fight, tensions between the two fighters reached an all-time high. McGregor taunted Nurmagomedov for religion, family, and country, while Nurmagomedov took offense to the insults and promised to smash McGregor in the octagon. When the two finally met inside the octagon, it was Nurmagomedov who emerged victorious, submitting McGregor in the fourth round with a neck crank. After the fight, however, chaos erupted when Nurmagomedov jumped out of the cage and attacked McGregor's cornermen, while members of Nurmagomedov's team attacked McGregor inside the octagon. The incident led to a suspension and fines for both fighters, and McGregor took a hiatus from the sport for over a year. He returned in January 2020 to face Donald Cowboy Cerrone, winning the fight in just 40 seconds via the TKO. Despite the bad blood between McGregor and Nurmagomedov, there has been talk of a potential rematch between the two. However, Nurmagomedov has since retired from the sport, and it is uncertain if he will ever return to the octagon. The Conor McGregor vs. Donald Cowboy Cerrone fight took place on January 18, 2020, at UFC 246 in Las Vegas. The fight was McGregor's return to the octagon after over a year away from the sport, and it was also his first fight since losing to Khabib Nurmagomedov in October 2018. Leading up to the fight, there was much speculation about how McGregor would perform after such a long layoff. 
Many wondered if he would be rusty or if his time away from the sport had diminished his skills. However, McGregor put those concerns to rest with a dominant performance against Cerrone. He came out aggressively, throwing a barrage of punches and kicks that quickly had Cerrone on the defensive. McGregor landed a number of devastating strikes, including a head kick and a series of shoulder strikes that appeared to stun Cerrone. The fight ended just 40 seconds into the first round, with McGregor earning a TKO victory. It was the fastest finish of his UFC career, and it immediately put him back in the mix for a title shot in the lightweight division. The Conor McGregor vs. Dustin Poirier 2 fight took place on January 23, 2021, at UFC 257 in Abu Dhabi. The fight was a highly anticipated rematch between the two fighters, who had previously faced off in September 2014. In the lead-up to the fight, there was much speculation about how both fighters had evolved since their first meeting. McGregor had become one of the biggest stars in the UFC, while Poirier had established himself as a top contender in the lightweight division. The fight began with both fighters trading strikes in the center of the octagon. McGregor landed some early shots, but Poirier was able to weather the storm and began to take control of the fight with his leg kicks and clinch work. In the second round, Poirier continued to land leg kicks, which appeared to be taking a toll on McGregor. Eventually, Poirier landed a series of punches that staggered McGregor, and he followed up with a flurry of strikes that forced the referee to step in and stop the fight. The win was a significant upset for Poirier, who had been a considerable underdog heading into the fight. It also marked the first knockout loss of McGregor's UFC career. After the fight, both fighters expressed respect for each other and hinted at the possibility of a third fight in the future. McGregor has since undergone surgery for a broken leg suffered in his trilogy bout with Poirier at UFC 264, and it is uncertain when he will return to the octagon. The Conor McGregor vs. Dustin Poirier 3 fight took place on July 10, 2021, at UFC 264 in Las Vegas. The fight was the third meeting between the two fighters, with each having won one fight apiece in their previous two matchups. The fight began with both fighters looking to establish their range and land strikes from the outside. McGregor appeared to be getting the better of the exchanges early on, but Poirier landed a takedown and began to work on the ground, eventually taking McGregor's back. McGregor was able to escape and get back to his feet, but he appeared to suffer a leg injury at the end of the first round. Between rounds, the ringside doctor examined McGregor's leg and determined that he was unable to continue, resulting in a TKO victory for Poirier. The fight was marred by controversy in the aftermath, as McGregor and Poirier engaged in a heated exchange during the post-fight interviews. McGregor made inflammatory comments about Poirier's wife, which led to backlash from fans and criticism from UFC President Dana White. Despite the unsavory ending to the fight, it was a significant victory for Poirier, who had established himself as one of the top contenders in the lightweight division. McGregor, on the other hand, suffered his second straight loss and raised questions about his future in the sport. After the fight, both fighters expressed interest in a fourth fight, although it remains to be seen if that will come to fruition. McGregor has since undergone surgery for his leg injury and is expected to be out of action for several months. Since then, Connor coached the Ultimate Fighter vs. Michael Chandler. It still remains to be seen if Connor is going to step back in the cage. He went from the most high-profile fighter on the planet to now never competing in the octagon.